Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot, an oracle card reading for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be your theme for the reading and it just feels so interesting to me. You have the card of pleasure from the Sacred Destiny Oracle card deck. So I, I also get to though, I had a friend who used to always have this sort of a mantra, we better be having fun. And she would not go to things if it was not fun. She would be like, we better be having fun if I'm going to go to this. But this card too, with the deer in the card in the stairs, it looks almost like a fairy tale. It's mythical in nature. So we're going to find out how that relates when we consult the tarot here for a general reading. All right. What advice do you have for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Pisces? Okay, we'll lay out the tarot and then we will have an Angel Answers Oracle card reading to conclude. I love that card though, it's so cute. It's just wonderful. You've got the Nine of Cups, the Emperor, the Ace of Swords, very powerful. The Five of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Very interesting. I wish that we would have had another eight here. That would have been exciting to have eight, 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 but you still have three eights. So I like it a lot because eights are rhythm and vibration. And they're also too, I feel like you have a time here of getting some things done. Um, with that emperor energy, we've got Aries, we've got, it appears, all the elements going on here, but there's something very important, a turning point with these eights. Now, I also, too, even though this is a nine, I also like this, okay? I feel like things are going to move forward much to your satisfaction. I heard pleasure principle. Isn't that a song from Janet Jackson? I'd make that the title, but you know how the AI get around here? It's like, you never know how they're going to read into things. It's really strange. But this is really moving you forward. And especially with the Nine of Cups, that's one of the lottery tickets of the tarot. Really putting you on the path of joy. I feel like you have information that is going to bring joy to your heart. If you've been working hard and you've been waiting on information, if it's something to do with even a trip or a move and it has to do with money, it's going to be great information. Now, you do have love here, too, by the way. You do have a partner for life who comes in with that emperor energy. And I feel like they're going to be very upfront with you about their intentions, about what they're looking for. This is not somebody on a dating app who's got one of those ambiguous profiles and you have no idea what the hell they're even doing on there. It's like, I don't want to deal with you. You're way too confusing. This is someone who's very straightforward. And so I do feel like with this Nine of Cups, they love deeply. This is very high vibrational energy. And I feel like too, I almost get like when they're in love, they almost feel like they're floating. It's really nice. That could also be you too, where it's like those butterflies are blooming and they are raising you up, rising you up higher. And so with this Nine of Cups energy, Nines are cards of attainment. They're wonderful. So whereas the Eights are the rhythm and the magic and the underlying unity, the Nines then become the accomplishments and the new beginning. And so it really is. Now the Nine of Cups is like you're almost there. The Ten of Cups is you've arrived. So I don't see this as being like the end result. I feel like it's just that joy in the journey, okay? Find the joy in the journey. It's coming out in the cards too. Now, I also want to say with this, if you are moving, I feel like you're going to meet new people where you move to, like neighbors and people who are just very nice, fun people to talk to. You might find that you move to a place where people want to stop on the sidewalk and chit chat and things like that. So you have to be aware of that. I live in a place kind of like that. I've lived here for a long, long time though. And after 20 some years of it, it's like, oh, got to close the garage fast. There comes Helen. No offense to people named Helen, but I'm just saying it's like, I can't, I don't have time for a 20 minute conversation right this second later. Okay. Later we're coming back around for that. But I do feel like you have a great sense of community coming in. If somebody's going camping, I'm not a big camper. So I know it's not me. I'm not a camper at all. But I do feel like if somebody's going to do something out in nature, I'm seeing like bonfires and I feel like it's going to be nice. It just really speaks to your soul. So with this emperor energy here, I like the emperor because he gets things done. So as much as you have kind of that mythical energy around you, which I feel like is really going to compliment you, the emperor is very straightforward. He is a partner for life. He has that, that 
staff that he carries because it represents Venus and that's what rules his emperor empress so what he does he does for her he's the father of the tarot so I do feel like people are going to be looking out for you and if you do have an opportunity to move I feel like there's somebody who wants to help you out in terms of giving you tips and guidance I'd let them do it if you say god this person's just like a little overzealous. I feel like it's kind of what they do. And so there's something about them with that ace of swords. They really want to see you take flight. They want to see you do well. And so there's a reason for it. There's something about it to them about in terms of helping other people with their experience. It's very important to them. So with this emperor energy, the great architect of the universe, believe in yourself, believe in your ability to move forward, to have all things possible. Now, if you're moving, like I said, I do feel like it's going to be great. But in terms of love, this is a partnership and it's somebody who's a rock steady. They are not one to waffle. They're not fickle. They're not in and out. So if you're dealing with somebody who is, they might have a counter punch coming in. And I mean that metaphorically, not physically. I mean that they may have somebody coming in. If you got somebody who's breadcrumbing you and they're, they're a lot of fun to be with, I get it that way. There's a reason why you keep them around. They're a lot of fun. They give you all the butterflies, all the feels, but it's like you get left wanting more and you don't think you're going to get that. I feel like you have somebody coming in who's going to give you the more, the stability, the commitment. Okay, so you're, is that, you're going to have to decide what to do there because I do feel like that Eight of Swords is tied to the Seven of Cups. There's something about too much thinking there. So with this Ace of Swords, you got a new beginning. This is a great time to set goals, by the way. The Ace of Swords is great in terms of accomplishing things and being very clear about what you want. And so I feel like it's a great card in general here because there's some confusion. All right, over here in this next little area, we've got somebody who's having a little bit of confusion and this brings out the truth and it may also bring out the truth about somebody. So I do feel like if somebody that you just like, it's like you can't get enough of them literally because they're just not available. They don't make themselves available in that way. They kind of just give you a taste and then sneak off like a thief in the night until they return. I do feel like you're gonna get information that may make you make a decision once and for all. So if you've been going back and forth, back and forth, kicking something around, you're going to have more information. Um, so this also, too, is understanding the truth. So you don't argue with yourself when the Ace of Swords comes into play. But I also feel like, too, it's going to help a lot to get rid of this Five of Wands. These next three cards are kind of the irritations of life. So what seems confusing, what seems like it's bringing in some perhaps squabbles into your life, I feel like it's going to get course corrected quite a bit. And it's all going to begin with you because when you see something differently, like I said, we better be having fun. This is not a whole lot of fun. I feel like if you've been also too overextended and too busy, that may be coming to an end for a while so you can get yourself back, get your bearings back, I heard. So if you've been racing around and organizing a lot of things, I do feel like you're going to get things into a better place where you're going to be able to rest a bit. Um, but with this Seven of Cups, this is that Daydreamer's Torment card. So if you find yourself caught up in this, meditate, quiet the mind, disconnect from it as much as you can, and try not to continue to get into this. Because especially, too, if it's a love interest, it's like you love how you feel with them, but you don't love the heartache that keeps coming back around. There's something here that I just feel like it leaves a lack. It leaves an opening, and there's just like not enough there. And so I do feel like that you're going to see things for what they are. This is also taking off the rose-colored glasses, by the way. So those of you that, like we said, I feel like you're going to turn into that card of pleasure. And really, if you're not feeling pleasure in this, I just don't see them saying, let's keep staying in here. So there's something here that feels like it's been out of your control and power. And it does feel like it has to do with another person. Like there's a lot of mixed signals going on around you. And so even if it's a job or even a housing situation where they kept giving you, you know, ideas that never came to fruition, it's like, well, I can't, I'm not going to keep doing this. You, you had three times. Now you fooled me. I'm moving on. Not going to fool me four times. So with this, this eight of, of swords, she is able to walk away, but I do feel like there's, it's complex. Okay. There's a lot of talk and a lot of what I think is talk that never gets delivered too much of it and so it's like well enough is enough with this I'm not putting up with this any longer so I do feel like with this eight of pentacles you're going to be making money 
All right. I do feel like though, too, your hard efforts aren't wasted. Nothing is wasted in the universe's economy. So if you do feel like, God, I wasted my time on this other thing, don't worry about it. You have something better coming in. With this Eight of Pentacles, though, too, if there's something, too, where you put down a payment on something, I feel like that will eventually come back around if it's like it's been held up. But I also feel like it may create a situation where you start making money to compensate for it, like trying to make up for it. And so in the end, I feel like you're going to have more money than ever if it's something to do with money. But this Eight of Wands goes along with that communication. The Eight of Wands helps your life take off. It is the arrows of love too. So it's like you just grab a hold of one of those ends of one of those wands and take a ride. Now these wands too, we like the straightened out. Anything that's straight in the tarot tends to be positive. These cat these scattered wands are are they're really kids playing with wands, but they they represent chaos. And so this represents the antidote, getting things organized, getting things into a place where you have peace of mind so that things will move forward in a relationship too. There's no confusion. You have somebody new that's not here to play a bunch of games. They don't it's just not valuable to them. So I do feel like you have somebody new coming in here with that 8 of wands if you've been kind of back and forth with something. I feel like you have something better. So let's see now, Pisces, what else you need to know here. Messages, please, for Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know? Trust that the universe feels your energy and wants to guide you forward. The situation will improve. I agree. You've got a kind of a mixed bag going on in this reading where there's something here that just hasn't been, it just hasn't been coming to fruition. Communicate clearly. So get really clear about what you want and know that it's available. You have in the near future and we've got choose a new direction. That one's been coming out left and right. So there's a new path ahead, Pisces. Good things are coming. I love you and I'll be back again soon.